Yo, this is huge for Animal Crossing New Horizons because a data mine is underway and we're finally learning about how this game works. Even though it's just Animal Crossing, there's still a lot we don't know about New Horizons. Like, there's a lot of mystery around the Mystery Islands, but it looks like that has been cracked. Finally managed it, here's a complete guide to the 20 Mystery Tour Islands in Animal Crossing New Horizons with maps and accurate info from the game files. That is awesome. So I did a video about this around a week ago, and I didn't cover all the rare islands. Like, I did the ones that people were talking about, and the ones that were documented, and the loose information that we had about it. People were like, oh, I found this island, and no one's talked about it. So now we have the odds, like 2%, 3% chance, and stuff like that. Let's go to the list, and let's fully break down what is going on with the Mystery Tour Islands. This is all from Ninji. So it's Ninji's Mystery Tour Island. It's his data mine and all that fun stuff. Let's go and see what we got. Help full overview of the 20 different islands you can visit with Nook Miles tickets in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Click on an island's image for an interactive map, map showing every object. Sorry, probably won't work well on mobile devices. Either way, you can do that and then you can see there's a stone. So it's all scripted. It's not like there's any randomness inside of it. The flowers are going to be the same flowers in the same place. Then there's going to be trees and fishing spots and all that stuff so yeah if you want the more details about it you can go and click on it for yourself but then we can see the different kinds of islands so a fairly normal island which you can get on your first tour with one cliff native fruit coconuts a river and a pond and then you can see this stuff right here chance nine percent native fruit normal flowers four rocks normal insects normal fish so if you just hop on over here, it's going to be like your native island in pretty much every way. So depending on what you've done with the resources in your island, you can go and work around like that. Like there's going to be flowers for you. If you've done a lot of terraforming, there's going to be uh, a high river pond. There's going to be like all these other things that you can take advantage of for your fishing and getting stuff like that. Because I saw a lot of people in my other videos saying, no, the first island that you showed or like the normal common island you showed is really good because you can get sturgeon and you can get string fish and stuff. Well, that's because it has the you know, the uh, layout, the terrain for getting those fish, but it doesn't seem to make them any more common because they're just normal fish, normal stuff. Practically the same as island number zero, but without the pond and a slightly bigger cliff. So we've talked about that. Spiral Island, somewhat more interesting layout, nothing special about the resources that you can get. Everything the same, I talked about it. That was like one of the first islands I showed in my video uh, talking about the rare island guide, because like, yeah, Spiral Island, it looks cool, it looks like it'd be special, but nah, it's just Common Island, so Common Islands are going to be the 9% chance. Island number 4, Fidget Spinner Island. I haven't called it that, this is just like, Fishing Island, last of the four starter islands, no river, just a pond and the sea, everything else is going to be normal. Now there are some unique traits to some of the islands, like when you get this island, the fish spawn incredibly fast. Now it might just be the layout, but also just might be a characteristic of the island. Then we have this, Mountain Island. I actually haven't seen this, 9% chance? Yeah, I don't think I've gotten Mountain Island, or maybe once, but yeah. Multiple levels, no river, base has regular trees, the middle level has your native fruit, top level has five rocks with materials. I, yeah, I don't think I've gotten this, but I've seen people with it. So you do get crafting material rocks, that's interesting, and then you can start seeing special uh, insects here. So even though it has the same chance, it's kind of like a rare island in the way that you get special resources from it. So that's kind of cool, and then you can get pillbug centipede because of the rocks. I guess that goes in with the rocks, nice. 5% chance for island number 7, this is Money Rock Island. So it's 5% chance, which makes it more common than some of the other rare islands, which is why you might see it more often. So you got 6 Bells Rocks, and then that means you can still get the Pill Bugs and Centipedes because of that. Breaking the Rock at North will let you vault into the island with 5 Money Rocks on it, and then there's also a Money Bag under that rock that you have to break, but fortunately there's Fruit Trees, so eat a fruit, break the rock, then you go and get all of your bells money. Then we have 10% chance for Bamboo Island. Every tree on this island is bamboo. You can get it any time of the year. The most common island you can get out of the 20 statistically. Correct, because of the 10% chance compared to the other 9% chances. Then we have Fruit Island, so Sister Fruit. This is what people were talking about, where it's like, it seems like there's a rare chance of getting your non-native fruit, but there's also a fruit pairing depending on what you have. Fruit Island. There are 19 fruit trees on this island, and it'll be your sister fruit. This will be different from your native fruit, but every time you come here, it'll be the same one. So my sister fruit is peaches, and I have cherries. So my main island's cherries. All of my native fruit trees are going to be cherries. This one is going to be your sister fruit, and if you keep coming here, you're going to keep finding out your sister fruit. 
Flower Island. So now, this is what's going to be interesting, seeing the differences in the rare islands and the reports on that, because I've heard of like Hybrid Flower Island, I've also heard of just Straight Up Flower Island, and then a lot of other weird stuff going on. And then this is another thing to know, Max One Daily Visit. So if you get a rare island in a day, and you like farm it up, and you want to keep going for it. So let's say you want like two Tarantula Islands, say, is it the same for Money Rock Island? No, you can actually get multiple uh, Money Rock Islands, okay. But if you want some of these rare ones, now you can see how it starts uh, changing with the odds. So you can only get those one per day. Flower Island. This island pond surrounded by rare flowers, and only insects that will spawn on those that hang around those flowers. So, that's a lot of stuff. And it depends on what you're looking for. So we, yeah, and rare flowers do attract different bugs, apparently. So we're learning a lot about the game just from all of this. And if you go here, it kind of just offsets any anything that you wouldn't have on your normal island. So you can get all kinds of great stuff like that. Town Hall. Money Rock Island number two. There are four small triangular cliffs on each corner, and the ground level is full of flowers and money rocks. And this one has seven money rocks instead of just one and you can find scorpions here so this might also be what people are thinking about when they say oh if you clear all the trees and you clear everything you can still get you can turn any island into a tarantula island no i think it's only the specific ones that have the chance to spawn scorpions and tarantulas like that so that's interesting i'm wondering like if there's any oh wait count is that like a special calendar or is it just say max one day visit because people were reporting that Shark Island only spawns in the summer, which makes sense because you can only catch shark in the summer. So we got that. Tarantula Island. Yes, the infamous one. The only insects that will spawn here are tarantulas, as long as it's not ta nighttime in a tarantula month. And the rocks will have crafting materials. You can get to them, and then the river is thin enough that you can jump over it without a vaulting pool. So I guess the um, crafting material rocks mean that's going to be like iron and clay and rocks. But I guess... I don't know what the difference between a crafting material rock is and a normal rock, then. Is it only, like, crafting materials are guaranteed to have, like, just uh, iron and clay and then not getting rocks? So, I guess that's the thing. But yeah, you can get that, and then you clear it out, and then you build little traps, and then you go and get all of your uh, tarantulas, just like that. Here's another one. Uh, hardwood. Tree Island. This island has no river or pond, tons of hardwood and coconut trees. The only ins insects that spawn are those associated with the trees. So it's also really good for insects getting it this way. Native fruit, rare flowers. This is Big Fish Island. All right. So I haven't seen this one yet. I think I've seen it once, but I didn't know it was a rare island. I was like, oh, it's just a random lake, so I'm out. Big Fish Island. This island has rare hybrid flowers, and only fish available are larger ones, including some of the most rare ones. So yeah, that's why we see like all of these... Uh, High, high rivers and high lakes and stuff, so you can catch probably a lot of sturgeon and string fish and stuff like that, depending on what time of the year that it is. You can also get mantis, orchid, orchid mantis, stink bug, ladybug, man face stink bugs, so the bugs that are associated with those flowers, and then all kinds of crazy fish. And Big Fish Island also applies to the sea as well, so that means it's going to be better for getting marlin, coelacanth, napoleon fish, tuna, or fish, and if I guess if it's raining, Celeste a uh, coelacanth or something. And I don't know. L, 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 L. I don't know what that means. Huh. Maybe there's, maybe there's some kind of, is there? No, there's no key to suggest it. Maybe, uh, if you click on it, get a little bit more information. Because now I'm confused. One second. Yeah, I don't know. So far, wolfs.org, which is where this is hosted, is only the mystery island tour so we're going to get more information as well from that I maybe mean, if you know because i'm just not that like hardcore animal crossing savvy then you can comment it down below and we'll see where that goes now this is an island i got when i was doing my rare island video or i was like recording for it but it didn't seem that special but apparently it's the rarest island tree island 2 this island is exactly the same as bamboo island but all the trees are just regular hardwood trees i got this and it looks like I missed out on chance of getting a lot of insects because of that. I guess those are like insects that favor uh, hardwood trees or stuff like that. Seems to make sense. And I'm wondering if this is also going to be like calendar related. Like all of these are available as long as it's the right month or season to get those insects. Then we have Curly River Island. There is one square cliff at the northeast, few flowers, small amount of fruit trees, only insect associated with water spawn here. So this is like water insect island, dragonflies, pond skater, stuff like that. It's not like rare, it's an uncommon island. I think that's how we break it down. So normal islands are going to be 9%, 10%. Uncommon islands are going to be 5%. So that includes money island. And then the rare islands are going to be 2%. 
So this one is going to be Big Fish Island 2. Rare island only spawns big fish, otherwise quite normal, less flowers, lower chance of appearing than the other big fish island. So between those two, you have like a 5% chance of getting a kind of big fish island. And then here's the uh, fish classification again. Trash island. So trash island is 5%, and this is what it looks like. Everything you can fish here is trash, only water-related insects spawn, once again. So it's got like a little curly thing, and then a lake-looking thing over here in the center. And then if you get this, that's trash island. People were talking about it. I didn't understand the rarity behind it, or there was like no documentation online of what the island looked like, but here we have the official one right there. Then we have Finn's Island. So he, oh, this is also why it's hard to get the uh, shark. So Finn's Island, rectangular pond, regular cliffs, tallest one being too tall to climb. Only fish that spawn here are the largest finned fish. So yeah, I don't understand what the J, L's, and K's mean. So great white shark, hammerhead shark, whale shark, saw shark, and a sunfish. Also, suckerfish can spawn. I wonder if it's if it's um kind of based on the months with this. Like if it's winter months, maybe you get whale shark and sunfish and suckerfish. And if it's summer months, then that's how you get the saw shark, hammerhead, and great white. That's just what I'm going off of from what I saw on the Animal Crossing Reddit. So there's still like not absolutely everything known, but this is definitely a very helpful guide. And then we have the last ones at the bottom. So 5% chance, Falls Island, lots of cliff, waterfall, river forks, normal resources. So uncommon island just looks kind of fancy and annoying. I think I've gotten Falls Island because I remember like going around this back end at one point, but there was nothing special here. So just normal island otherwise. And then Gold Island, a very rare island with flowers, scorpions, rectangular pond. If you climb up onto the cliff, climb down from the back, vault over a tiny island, get eight gold nuggets, from a single rock that is pretty dank that yeah so you have to go up and then over and then vault and then that wow that actually might be one of the best islands and of course it's one of the rarest islands with that one percent chance so in my rare video I was like yeah it feels like there's a two percent two to three percent chance of getting a rare island but there's also like 2% rares and then just incredibly rare islands and stuff like that so that's pretty interesting and yeah I think like the individual very specific details because I'd, I'd expect that like you get uh, scorpions on tarantula island if it's winter for scorpion or not winter summer for scorpions instead of winter for tarantulas or maybe instead of getting like Finn's Island you get tarantula island but it doesn't seem that way because these odds line up to 100% so there's just a chance of getting any of these islands, which means they also might be regardless of time, which is also pretty good if you're like trying to complete the game. That you know, you don't have to wait until summer if you purchase it in winter, or if you're not like skipping the clock or anything, if you want to get certain resources, certain insects, certain fish, and stuff like that. So that might be a thing about the big fish island that you know, just get every fish here. So this is definitely something that you want to go for. And maybe once we get some extra details, it'll be known even more. So big step up from what we knew. Still not like 100% perfect information, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just kind of find out about the rare islands. I feel scammed on the hardwood island for my 1%. And then there's also some other three ones. Yeah, so we got that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.